Hey, what's up guys? GoingSiv25 here, and today I'm starting my tutorial series on using the WS module for Node.js. So, in this tutorial series, I'm going to be using the Cloud9 IDE. Uh, you can access it by going to c9.io. That's really user-friendly, really easy to use. I do recommend it for if you're starting out with Node. Uh, and... I'm going to start off with a little demo of what we're going to be learning in this tutorial series. Um, so we have our server console set up right here. And if we reload the page, we now have a square. And we also see that we have a client connected to the server. And we can also have more people connected. It works really fast. Uh, I know that a lot of people are drawn away from the WebSocket module because of uh, Socket IO, and uh, it's usually because the WS module can only send strings, and Socket IO can send lots of different data objects, everything, but. The WS module is just a lot faster, so just depending on the type of application that you want to write, if you want it to be really fast, you're going to want to use uh, the WS module. If you want it to be uh, a little bit slower, then and you want to send huge chunks of data, then you're probably better off with Socket IO. But if you go to your Cloud9 um, home page or whatever this is. Uh, you're going to press the plus, create a new workspace. You're going to name your project. You're going to select node.js and create a workspace. I've already done that. It's going to take a while of creating your workspace. I deleted everything inside the uh, workspace that was included with it and just created an index.js file. And you want to make sure that you have your bash open and you want to type npm install ws. And this is going to install the WebSocket module in our project. As you'll see, the node modules folder should be created. And uh, I guess let's get to coding. So you're going to have to declare two variables. WebSocket server and WSS. If you're using Cloud9, the port's going to have to always be 8080. Uh, that's the only port that they allow you to uh, run your applications on. So if you're using Cloud9 and you're wondering why it doesn't work, make sure you have ports set to 8080. Um, now, the way that the WebSocket module works is everything is based off of events. So the first event handler we're going to have is the onConnect event. So we're going to say wss.onConnection and then we're going to have a callback with the socket object and then that we're going to call ws. So we now have the socket and on a connection. We're also going to need another variable. That's going to be an array called clients. And this is going to hold every socket that is currently connected to the server. So on the connection, I'm going to say clients.push. And this is just going to add ws to the end of the clients array. And also, another thing you can do with just a plain socket 
is that more event listeners? So we can use a message listener, a close listener, and an error listener. So the way we do that is ws.on the event you want to listen for. First one we're going to listen for is message and then a callback with the message sent. We're going to leave the message listener alone for now and we're also going to add the close and error listeners. So on the close, we want to remove uh, the socket from the array of clients we're sending to. So to do that, we're going to say clients dot splice clients dot index of client, and then one length long because we're only removing one socket. We're going to do the same thing on the close and the error, just so we're not sending extra information. We're also going to make a function called send all. This is just easier to send messages to everyone on the server. So we're going to have a for loop. Just your basic for loop. And we're going to say if clients i dot ready state equals equals clients zero dot open. This is just going to check to make sure that the socket is open just in case there's a problem and you can't send through the socket because uh, that'll crash your program <laughs> so we're checking the ready state and then sending the message dot send alright so I think this is good enough for now um, we can also add logging Client connected. So, uh, just some just some basic stuff starting out our server. So this is just gonna. Make a web socket on port 8080, and then if anyone tries to connect to it, it'll say client connected. And uh, we'll start working on the client side later. I want to focus on the server first, um, just to make it easier when we're writing it later. Uh, so it is running now. Just nothing logged yet. But I think that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, more tutorials coming in the, in the future. See you guys in the next one.